I had a craving for sand and gravel. I lived next to the beach, which was a bit of a nightmare because I couldn't stop thinking about drinking sand. My craving was the shower head. I used to turn on the cold water and squirt it into my mouth. I'd wake up in the night and head straight for the shower. I've recently fell into one of those YouTube vortexes where you watch like the weirdest videos, also probably how most of you found my channel, but I ended up finding all these pregnant ladies talking about food cravings and oh my god, pregnant ladies have the weirdest food cravings ever, like I have never even thought of these food combinations. What I thought we need on my channel right now is 24 hours of food cravings from pregnant ladies. These are actual real foods from real pregnant people and we're gonna be eating it for breakfast, lunch, dinner, snack. One week I didn't want to eat anything other than barbecue flavored crisps with baked beans. Such a powerful, impossible to ignore urge. I've literally been running out to the door to go to the supermarket. So this is from a pregnant lady named Louise in the UK and we're gonna be having it for breakfast, which is gonna be baked beans uh, with some barbecue chips, which is a very weird combination that could be delicious, you know? I feel like being pregnant is like one of those very mysterious things. Maybe they know something that we don't know and this is actually gonna be delicious. Personally, I never thought about combining baked beans with barbecue crisps, but I love both individually. I'm gonna start by microwaving the beans. And yes, I microwaved the beans in a mug because I'm running out of dishes, so this is all I had left. Okay, so I'm gonna scoop out the beans. Ooh. I think I'm gonna like this because I love baked beans for breakfast, so... Oh, there's a crisp in my sleeve. When you got tricks up your sleeve. So now I think the best way to do this is to just crunch up the crisps on top of the beans. Wow. This actually looks pretty good. Literally me as a pregnant lady. This is our pregnant breakfast. Let's give it a try. This is the best breakfast I've ever had. This is so good that I'm even forgetting to talk to you guys. This is honestly amazing. I love this. This not only improved the crisps, but also improved the baked beans. So I will say that this is like the perfect, like weird combination because it improved both of the foods individually. I think the name of the lady was Louise and Louise, you're not watching this because you've got a child to look after probably but you slay me. <laughs> you introduced me to one of the most amazing food combinations in the history of my channel, so thank you very much, Louise. You can see that I really, really like this. Like, it's literally all gone. Why am I so trashy and why am I so easy to please? The world may never know, but I love that. I've craved chicken-flavored noodles for two weeks solid. I sometimes put them in sandwiches. I've been sending my other half out to stock the cupboards for fear of running out. This is from Nicole. Basically, Nicole is obsessed with these chicken-flavored pot noodles that I actually managed to get, so I just put some water in it and I'm waiting for them to finish cooking. What I thought we should do for lunch is make a chicken pot noodle sandwich. So I've got some cheese, some roast turkey, and a baguette, and then we're gonna put the pot noodles in it and see if it tastes any good. I am actually so excited for this idea, way more than I was for breakfast because I think this is gonna be so good. All we have to do is wait for the noodles to cook down a little bit more, even though they're already soft. I think this would be okay already. I'm gonna make a giant sandwich because if there's something I've learned in this 24 hour challenge videos is that if something you think it's gonna taste good, then make a lot of it because that will probably be all you're gonna eat throughout the day. Oh my God. I can't even slice bread, honestly. There we go. Okay, two slices of cheese should be enough. I mean, we're gonna do chicken noodles on this. So we're gonna do two slices of roasted turkey as well. One on this side, one on this side. This already looks like a pretty good sandwich, but when we add the noodles to it, it's gonna be everything. Shout out to pregnant Nicole, because this is something that I could have never dreamed myself. 
Normal people would be like, oh my god, that's so gross. I can't believe you're gonna eat that. I'm like, this is one of those foods they should have won a prize. I just need to take a picture of this for next time my mom asks me how my life is going. This is bread, cheese, ham, and chicken noodles. It's also dripping. Okay, let's close it. Oh my god. I feel like I didn't get enough noodles on my first bite. A huge shout out to Nicole, the queen of lunch, the queen of sandwiches, the queen of noodles. <sighs> it just works. Maybe pregnant ladies know something that most of us don't know, but they just got very good taste. Mmm, and the best part is that at any point you can just come and have just some noodles. Mmm. If you're gonna judge me for liking this, at least give it a try first and then you won't judge me anymore because there's no way that any person would not like this. This is like the best sandwich ever. Can we make this a thing? Can I open a restaurant and serve this? Oh my god. The name of my restaurant should be just trash. Like simple, clean, and very classy. I don't know exactly why, but I'm still so freaking stuffed from lunch, so I'm not even hungry for afternoon snack. But I'm still gonna do it because I know you guys love when I do afternoon snack. I'm probably still full because I had a whole baguette with pot noodles in it. Just maybe that's the reason. Just maybe. This is another quote from a maternity blog. Yesterday I had sausages with strawberry jam. What's that all about? I've got no idea what that is all about, Ginny, but if I've learned anything in this video is trust the pregnant ladies. They know what tastes good. So I'm gonna give this a try. So we've got one already cooked sausage. This is like a smoked pork sausage. Every time I eat sausages in my videos, I always buy them pre-cooked, but then there's always people in the comments saying, did you just eat a raw sausage? And I can't really blame you guys. I do sell myself as being really stupid, just not that stupid that I'd eat raw meat. I don't really like the look of that. And here we got some strawberry jam. Also, I've never seen strawberry jam looking like that. Like, it looks like ketchup. Wow. That looks, um, meaty. I think this might be satisfying. Oop, that wasn't that satisfying, actually. So we're gonna pour the strawberry jam in this little container. That's really interesting. I've never seen jam like that. That's my kind of jam, honestly. Anything that comes in a squeezed little bottle, I'm like, yes! The least amount of effort, the better. Yep. This is my life. This is my afternoon snack. I don't hate it, but at the same time I'd be lying if I said this is the best afternoon snack I've ever had. It's actually really hard to explain because it's not like gross, like you don't want to like throw up. I just don't think this goes together. Like for some weird reason, this doesn't really merge. Like the flavors don't merge very well. It's not that much of an effort. I would say give it a try. I feel like a lot of people could actually like this. Personally, not my thing. At my worst, I had a bacon and Mars bar burger. At my best, I drank liters of sparkling water with loads of lemon juice and sea salt. You guessed it right. For dinner, we're gonna have a Mars bars burger and also some sparkly water with sea salt and lemon juice, which is very weird as well. So we're gonna start with making the sparkling water, so. Okay. So we're also gonna add some salt. Let's try to mix it in a little bit. And last but not least, we add some sparkling water. We are pregnant, not dead, so presentation does matter. Perfect. Here we got our microwavable burger. 
I know, very fancy. I think I'm gonna starve tonight for dinner. I'm pretty sure. I'm gonna get some of the cheese. Even though Hannah didn't say a cheeseburger, but it came with it, so I'm not gonna throw it away. We also got some burger sauce to add. And obviously because... <gasps> That's perfect. And last but not least, the ingredient that I'm not looking forward to, we're gonna add some Mars bars. Yep. It even comes with two of them. Just perfect, just exactly what I needed. In case you're having trouble seeing my beautiful dinner, this is kind of what it looks like. Welcome to my YouTube channel. This is officially our pregnancy craving dinner. We got the sparkling water with sea salt and a Mars bars burger. Oh my god, I didn't even think I put that much salt in it. It feels like I'm drowning in the ocean. Wow. Maybe if I was pregnant, I could actually enjoy that, but by not being pregnant, I don't think anyone would. Oh my god. It just hit me that I'm eating chocolate and beef. Don't really know how I feel about this one. This is what it looks like when I bite into it. It's like caramel sauce and beef and bacon and like cheese and everything. Here's the tea. I didn't love this as you can see, but it's not like the worst thing I've ever had. You can definitely eat this and then that's fine. But I can really understand why someone who's like pregnant would love this because I've never eaten a food like this in my whole life. This is like sweet and savory, but then also like sour and then salty and spicy. It's got like every single like type of like, I can't really explain, but it's like so overpowering. Like it just tastes like everything. Like I mean it, everything. This is like the everything burger. I've never tasted anything like that. If you're pregnant, if you've got really strong food cravings, I'm gonna say that this is probably the one for you because this is like, tastes like everything. To be fair though, I think I can eat this. It's not that much of a challenge. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I had so much fun as usual. If you liked it, please don't forget to give it a like only if you liked it. If you didn't, don't bother. I'm really sorry I've been a little down this week, but it's just because I'm ill and it's just, it's just been a tough week. I'm still gonna try to post every day this weekend and next week we'll be back on track. Hopefully I'm gonna be healthy again. Please don't forget to subscribe. Also switch my notifications on. And if you're watching this on mobile, there's a little bell and all you have to do is tap that bell. And every time I put up a new video, you guys will receive a notification on your phone. I know it's annoying that I say this in every video, but some people actually don't know that that's a thing that you could like switch my notifications on. So if you do that, I love you and I really appreciate it. I love you guys and I will see you on my next video. Bye bye.